Hey guys, so if you follow the channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen the yellow and black Rans S7 that I fly. Basically, I started flying that airplane when I had about 20 hours towards my private. I was learning in a 170B model, and then I got this airplane and started doing some solo time in it and kind of moved back and forth. And so it's been a fantastic airplane. So it's uh, it's really just kind of getting tired. So it's a 1996 model Rands. Um, so it really has not been updated since it was built. Uh, it has, you know, I mean, the general maintenance stuff has been done, but other than that, it really has not changed a whole lot um, since then. So we're going to do some upgrades, and really this all started because I was scrolling through Barnstormers one night and ran across a pretty good deal on a, uh, on a new motor and an avionics package to go in it. And so we're going to do motor, we're going to do avionics, we're going to rewire the whole thing. Uh, we're going to pull the wings and put new fuel tanks in. I'll show that because I know a lot of guys have had to do that change and I don't think I've ever seen a video of it. So I'll show you guys how to swap fuel tanks in the wings. There's some fabric work here and there. We may do a landing gear. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the gist of it. So if you guys want to follow along on this build series, we're going to call it Rand's Rebuild. And it uh, should be a good one. So we're in deep on the Rans rebuild. We got Bounton engine mount, left the oil tank there. We'll resituate that. Avionics are gone. We got this test panel cut for our new avionics, but uh, we are bare in there. So we're uh, committed at this point. Engine will be here next week. Avionics will be here next week. And then I go to Africa for two weeks. So it'll probably sit for two weeks. And then hopefully we'll have her together soon after I get back. So we're. Uh, Shoving a road tax in a little crate I built. That's headed to a guy in Tennessee. Um, just got that one sold and then excited to put the new motor on it. All right, so we've got the motor out and uh, got it on the scales before it goes in the crate. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the scale weight on it. So our scale weight is 133 pounds as it sits. So that 133 pounds is no exhaust, um, ignitions, voltage regulator, carburetors. Uh, it does have an oversized 16 row oil cooler on it. Um, but that is the weight coming out of the engine or coming out of the airframe with everything except for the oil tank, which is gonna be right there, which we're gonna have on the new, use the same oil tank on the new motor. So I know we're gonna add a little bit of weight here, um, but at the same time that engine from Rotax is listed at being, I believe, 121 pounds. Um, so they're a little optimistic on that, but um, we will uh, weigh the new motor before it goes in and we'll see exactly what we end up weighing. So the new one has a couple of computers that go with it and a little bit more wiring and stuff. So we're gonna see what we end up adding. Um, my prediction is we add 10 pounds to the airplane during this um, little exchange here because we're gonna save some on avionics. Uh, but we're going to add some on fuel system, so uh, we'll uh, see what the final result is when we get there. So now the big question on what motor is going to go in this airplane. I absolutely love Rotax motors. There's nothing wrong with them. There's really nothing that makes as much power as they do for as little weight and as little fuel as they burn. They're fantastic motors, but this motor that came off with a 1994 model um, and was designed in the 80s, and so I felt like it was time for an upgrade. And uh, so our new motor is the Rotax 912 IS. Um, it is a full FADEC controlled fuel injected engine um, and really just brings the Rotax into the modern age. And really the funny thing is the weights are not that crazy on it. So my old Rotax coming off 
uh, weighed 131.5 pounds and the new 912 IS motor that you see here uh, came in at 136 with all the stuff to run it and so with the way that everything's getting moved in, and mounted in the airplane we're going to add just a little bit of weight but we're going to actually move the CG back um, which is fine because as is right now I fly with weight in the baggage compartment so the goal here is to be able to fly this airplane no weight in the baggage compartment and ultimately have a better performing uh, higher efficiency airplane and for avionics we're going to be running a Dynon Skyview 10 inch um, I'm normally a Garmin guy and I've, I like wiring Garmin um, it's a little bit more work than the Dynon but it's good but got a good deal on these Dynon Skyview so I'll be able to give you guys a good comparison but we'll be running this touchscreen uh, with a remote radio and a Dynon intercom and rewiring the whole airplane so um, this should be a good one we should have a really good airplane when it's all done